Summer is finally over, you guys, and it's time to start thinking about getting back on the lanes. And you're gonna have to bring some stuff with you, and this is what's in my bag. Let's get into it. What's up you guys, welcome to 10 Pin Life. My name is Ben and in today's video, we are going over everything that is in my bowling backpack. Now, as you can see, this is a Nexus bowling bag and this is a backpack that is specifically designed with bowling in mind. We're gonna take a big tour of this whole thing, but before I get too far into it, if you wanna check this out, I have a link to their website below. I think that every penny that you pay for this backpack is completely worth it because it does everything that you can imagine that you would want a backpack specifically built for bowling to do. So the bag itself, has actually three different parts. So there's the primary pocket, which is this part right here. But then there's also two detachable pieces. This is the smaller one and then this bigger one down here. The cool part about these detachable pockets is they're just on clips right here and then they just slide into some slot holes that are right on the front, but you don't actually have to have them on the bag. This is where all of my primary bowling stuff lives. So they're all pretty much always on there. And then all my camera gear and computers and stuff like that live in the primary bag back here. Another cool part about this bag is it's got these Velcro pieces that are on the front and you can actually attach and detach these Velcro patches. Now these are directly from Nexus, but it's something that is an accessory that's actually gonna start to pick up from all the brands. So if you're on staff with somebody, you can slap that on there. You can even throw pins on here and stuff like that. Nexus was awesome enough to provide me this bag because I really wanted to try it out and give them a shout out because I think it's one of the coolest products that any bowler can buy here coming into this season. So let's just start from the top. The front two accessory bags are where all of my bowling accessories live besides my shoes, which were actually in the base of the bag. I have my bowl dry fan from Bowl Dry Enterprises here. I have a couple ball cups that are up here as well, just in case for some reason I need them. They're ball cups, it's bowling. Sometimes you need a place to put a bowling ball. In the second pocket of the accessory bag, well, first off, I do want you to know it's actually insulated. So there's a plastic lining in here. You could probably keep stuff cold in here if you want to, but I actually keep my ball cleaner in here as well as my towels. So I've got a couple leather chamois here. I always have two. I've actually found that it is a lot easier to use the leather chamois when you have them stacked on top of each other because they don't slide around as much. Plus, if you're having bad luck and you're superstitious like me, flip them over, try it a different way and see if that works better for you. And then I have my ball cleaner here. I just use the Storm reactive foam honestly it's the stuff that's most convenient for me at my local pro shop i always use it after i bowl i never use it beforehand i've got a dv8 kind of microfiber towel here just again just to keep them nice and fresh that is actually everything that is in this top pocket so just to stop thinking about it we'll get it out of the way now this second detachable egg bag is actually one that is specifically built for bowling accessories because it's actually segmented so there's individual like velcro pieces that you can build out exactly how you want your items to fit in this pocket. So when I open it up, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff right in here that is quick access for when I need it. We've got our shoe accessories. So I've got some heels in here as well as some slide soles. I really don't get into this bag that often. This is kind of like an emergency bag. I bowl year round. Bowling during the summer sometimes gets a little bit crazy and I have this just in case I need it, but thankfully I don't get into it all that often. Next up is gonna be Aberline pads. I mean, I don't know a bowler that bowls competitively that doesn't carry Aberline pads. I have something between 500 and 4,000 and most everything in between. I do use them really often though, and another thing that I do is I'll actually pair these with actually the reactive foam cleaner. When I'm done bowling, especially with a solid bowling ball, if it's scuffed up or if there's black marks on it or something like that, I'll actually put the cleaner on the ball and then just clean it with an Aberlon pad at like a 2000. And I like to have fresh covers, so it's sometimes that's a trick that I'll use, especially for balls that are a little bit more cover sensitive. Jumping to the top side of the bag real quick, I have the Genesis strips. I've used the rolls, I've used the strips. They both work really well. It's just about a consistency thing. You know, when I did the mic'd up with Chris Prather and Andrew Anderson. Chris actually talked a little bit about how it doesn't let him squeeze the ball quite as much because of the tension that it puts on his wrist, but it's not uncomfortable like a standard athletic tape either. And the use of kinesiology tape is something that I can recommend to pretty much everybody. It is definitely a way of maintaining different body parts because of the way that it works, but it is not going to overcome a bad grip. It's not gonna overcome bad fundamentals. It's just a good way of keeping things put together, not solving existing problems. The only other thing that's 
that's in the top side of the pocket is gonna be some super glue, not really pre brand preferential. I just like to make sure that it has a small and long tip so I can get the glue in a little bit further into the hole so it doesn't leak out onto the cover of the bowling ball. Next up is the trusty new skin. Thankfully, I don't have to use this stuff all that often. I honestly keep this in my bag for the most part for my friends who end up having skin tears or something like that. Another thing that sits right next to it is a $1 chip from South Point. This is actually one from the first trip that we went out there and it's just good memories, right? That's what bowling is all about is making memories with your friends. Something I like to remember uh, as often as I can. Next up is gonna be this Turbo Big Red Skin Protection Tape. Same as the Genesis Kinesiology Tape. This is not going to solve fit issues. If your skin is tearing off relatively frequently or your hands hurt or something like that, any sort of skin protection tape really isn't going to help you. You're still going to incur those injuries. The reason that I use skin protection tape is just because of the volume of games that I bowl and I actually have pretty sensitive skin. I have eczema, so it's something that keeps my fingers intact even though my fit is really good. There are other options. I know Vice makes their yellow skin protection tape, but I've liked the red a little bit more for two primary reasons. One, it's a little bit more durable. It seems to last a little bit longer. So if you're bowling eight game blocks or longer tournaments, it is something that holds up to my opinion a little bit longer, but also it is a little bit thicker. I like the feeling of like more material on my fingers rather than the vice yellow tape. And I've tried them both, I've used them both. It's just one that I generally prefer. Speaking of preference, the last item that's in here is actually gonna be my grips. Now I use the vice grapes. I've used turbo grips in the past. I've used different colored vice grips in the past. And honestly, I just like the grapes because they're soft, but they're not too soft. It's just the right color for me. And that is something if you are curious to actually talk to your pro shop operator about. Different grips actually mean something. Some are harder, some are softer. The black ones are like the right in the middle in between. The grapes are a little bit softer than the black ones, but like the purple ones, which are actually less purple than these, which is kind of strange, they're actually a little bit harder. So if something about your grip just feels weird where maybe your hands getting out of the ball too fast or maybe it's really hanging up on your fingers sometimes literally changing the color of your grips can help you do that and your pro shop operator should be able to help you figure that out now this is the stuff that i pretty much need to bowl no matter where i'm bowling or you know kind of what i'm doing i really like to make sure that my fit and my feel is as ideal as it can be and this is all the stuff that helps me do that and the coolest part about it is it's all in one bag now i'm down to this primary piece of equipment and all my camera stuff is in here. So if I'm going to shoot something, I don't actually need to bring all of my bowling stuff with. It's all just already packed up and ready to roll. So then of course, the last thing for the bowling portion of this bag is going to be my bowling shoes. I had been a really tried and true Dexter guy for a long time. When I would use the most recent SST6 Boas, which were super comfortable, I would always have to use an H1 heel, the orange one, because I just, I just needed as much break as I could get because I really like to be stable when I get to the line and not really moving at all. The Dexter shoes for me actually had a lot more of my weight on the ball of my foot and not on the heel. And when I switched, I was like, why am I stopping so hard? It's actually just because of the way that my weight was balanced in the shoe. And since then, I've really fallen in love with these KR Strike Force Mavericks. And they're just right in the bottom of the, the bag here. So there's just a little side pocket. It's super convenient just to have a pair of shoes under here. If I'm traveling and I don't need a bowl, obviously I'll flip those out with a different pair of shoes. These have been really reliable. They've got still that no lace technology, the BOA type fit construction, even though it's not BOA brand. And they're, you know, they do the trick. They're good bowling shoes. And I don't actually have to use as aggressive of uh, bottom materials because my weight is distributed more evenly in the shoe. I never would have thought about it. I never would have thought a different pair of shoes was gonna shift that much more of my weight onto the heel. And my balance has been way better. Really cool is actually a small pocket on the top where one, I keep a standard wall charger and iPhone cable, but then there is actually a cord that plugs into this power bank. Well, the cord actually goes to a port that is on this side of the bag. And this has a USB plug right on the bottom of it. So you can actually plug your phone or whatever you need to charge directly out of this. So you can plug your USB cable right into here. You don't have to get into the bag. You don't have to have a loose power bank around. It's just super convenient right there. But then the other cool thing about this primary pocket right here that's up front is that the secondary bag, this large accessory bag, 
fits exactly in here. And it is a glove level fit. So if all you're worried about is bowling and you just want a really good accessory bag to go with this, it's already there. You don't have to worry about it and it fits perfectly. You can't even tell that it's in there, but this is the most important thing, you guys. What do I always have in my bowling bag? It used to be a lot more than it is now. But there's always a snack in my bag. And right now it's Nutty Buddies because they're delicious. Who doesn't love chocolate, peanut butter, and wafers? But I have room for all of it. Like, I, as you can tell, like, there's a ton of stuff in this bag. It's the best way that I've found to do everything that I want to do in bowling. From actually throwing the ball myself, being able to do content like this for you guys. This Nexus backpack has really made all of that possible and convenient. The gentleman that runs it is a veteran. He's doing, trying to really make something really cool for us bowlers, but that's not the last thing that I wanna to touch on. This is something that I really believe helps make bowlers better bowlers. It's 10 pin toolkit. And Simon who runs it just released a huge update. He's got it to where you can actually put your entire arsenal in here. So all of the other cool stuff that he's already got in here, including a pattern library that has every pattern you can imagine. It's got the angles and targeting tool, which you can actually overlay a pattern and then actually figure out where you wanna be like on the lane and what you want your ball path to be so you can see it on your phone before you ever even step onto the approach. This is the app that I use for coaching and I really recommend you guys check it out. There is a free version. I love it when people put so much work into something that helps make bowlers better bowlers because it's hard to do. The amount of work that he's put into this app is not a small amount. The amount of work that they put into building this Nexus backpack is not a small amount. And it's all for the sake of helping bowlers lead better bowling lives. Big shout out to Nexus, big shout out to 10 Pin Toolkit, big shout out to you guys for watching it and subscribing to this channel. And it's bowling season, let's get into it. And let's just remember that our best lives are 10 Pin Life. Peace.